Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh again with a third material video with the Unreal Engine Editor. Today, we're going to learn how to make water. That's right, liquid, fluid, a beverage of sorts. I, I, I don't care, but we're gonna learn about big words, translucency and, and opaque, and, and I don't know what that second one means yet, but we're, we're gonna learn and we're gonna make this quick and it's gonna be cool. We're gonna basically learn how to make some water and not a real complex, ridiculous water. I'm talking one material that will fake the illusion. So here we go. I'm gonna make this quick. Remember last time the video we had a, we talked about normal maps. So I'm gonna jump straight back in. I'm gonna use the same exact normal map from the last video to make a water texture. Check this out. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna create a new material, right click, pick material. We'll name it water of obviously. We're gonna open it up. Minimize it a little bit. And we're gonna do the same thing we usually do. We're gonna drag our normal map in here, right? And we're gonna plug the normal map into here, into the normal. You guys can see that going on. You can kind of see what's going on with the texture here. Once again, just like always, it's faking the height. It's a very, it's a completely flat image, but the light is making it look like it has some, uh, some depth to it. We're gonna drag and drop it onto our surface. And there's the beginning. Now by looking at it, you can probably think, hey, we got some water, we got a beverage. I mean, you know, like a dark, beverage uh we're gonna work with it though we're gonna make it move we're gonna make it you know we're, we're gonna make it look better but you can already tell we kind of got an idea we could definitely use this so check it out i'm gonna show you a trick you can right click and type the word panner and like in the audio field if you pan something from left to right it goes from one ear to the left ear well in here it's kind of the same thing but imagine it just moving so we're going to set it to point zero one and negative point zero one and we're going to watch this thing move look at it moving like that isn't that great? Now we're gonna do something really neat. I'm gonna copy and paste both of those. Control W will ex make an exact copy of what you select. And I'm gonna use both of these and plug them into the normal. To use them both, we'll type the word add and we'll add them together and we'll plug them in here. Now, one problem is I don't want both of these panners doing the same thing. So I'm gonna go through here and like 0 0.099 and I'm gonna pretty much make them opposites point zero one one and go back and go point negative point zero zero nine basically they're they you don't want them to be exact opposites of each other because they won't clash correctly so i just basically changed them a little bit and as you can tell the panners are working together to give you that kind of image oh isn't that a gorgeous dark water i mean i know i'd go swim in it just to make it a little prettier, you know, we may not be super happy with the color. You can hold three or type in the word constant to get a constant three vector. A vector is a color or a location, blah, blah. We'll make this a like faint blue purple, kind of like that. Go back. Here's our, t I mean, as you can tell, this, 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 this network is not very, you know, complicated. You got a couple normals, a couple panners. You add them together, you put the collar on there, and bam, you got a bluish, gorgeous, pretty water. Now, I would be finished, and I was planning on just making this it, but I do want to show you one neat thing that you can do. And I'm not going to go very far into it. I will in my next video, but this is an opaque image, which means it's, you can't see through it. The word translucent, you know, obviously means that you can see. And when you do that, it destroys your normal because there's no light being, there's no light, it's getting cast through it because it's a translucent image. Now this opacity will just, you know, will basically decide how much you can see. So I'm gonna create what's called a depth fade. And I'm gonna create this other thing that starts with an F, F-R-E, Fresnel. Ooh, wrong one. Let's try again, hold on, there it is. Now, these I'm going to multiply together and put into the opacity. This is a very neat trick I'm just showing you. And what it's doing is kind of creating this, a very see-through image. We're gonna go back and look at it and see what it's done. You can kind of see the outer edge. Now, if you think about that on a flat image, it may not work the way you want. I mean, it looks cool, but you can kind of see under that may not be the look you're going for, but it's definitely translucent and it has a neat look to it. One more thing you can do, this thing right here, refraction. It's like reflecting light on a translucent surface. So we'll grab ourselves a number. We'll grab ourselves another one of these things. We'll set this number to five and we're gonna multiply those things together and plug them into that. So I'll plug this here, I'll plug this here, 
I'll drag this over here so I can don't know why my box disappeared. Now our network is probably a little bit more complicated, but we're going to like straighten it up a little bit by moving everything around and grabbing these and putting them over here. We're going to press the save button. We're going to go back into the editor. We're going to look at it and we're going to hope to God it doesn't look like trash. And it doesn't look like trash, but as you can tell, it's starting to reflect some of the outer surfaces. That's what refraction does. But anyway, guys, that's about it. I just wanted to show you guys what you can do with translucent and opaque surfaces, different ways to make different fluid like materials, uh, water, Coca-Cola. I don't care. It's I'm not really, you know, I'm not, I'm not really picky about it. I'm a, I'm a fluid guy. But uh, thank you guys for watching again. I'm actually going to open up a YouTube channel. It will be up later today or tomorrow. We're running a little behind because of different things that we're working on. But there's going to be a YouTube channel up. I'm going to post all the tutorials and we're going to start really um, promoting the Unreal Engine 4 because it's also a powerful engine. And since we're going to be using it, I think it'd be good for us. But hope you guys will check me out on there. I will get back with you guys soon with another video. Hope you guys learned something. I know I didn't. So have a good day.